Good evening and welcome back to Let's Play the Back Blackwell Legacy. When we left off last time, we met Joey. He's our family's legacy. He's a ghost and he's gonna... It's kind of cool. He's gonna work with us. He, we can spot other ghosts out in the world that are kind of stuck behind for whatever reason. He can talk to them to sort of figure out what the problem is and then Rosa as a medium is able to send them on to the other side. So I'm pretty excited to actually go and help some ghosts. Uh, there's a lady in the park. And I really want to go there, but let's just look around a little bit. Research. Okay, so first, what, would I, what I think we should do, we need to know the identity of the girls in the photograph. So let's go talk to Adrian, because he will know. Nope, no information. That's not something. No. My article has. Alright, and. No, hi. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's head over and. I'll do a little With bit of writing. staring over my shoulder? I can't. All right, all right. You coming? Yeah, sure. I think he's just pretty much always there, Rosa. Whether you realize it or not. Okay, as always, let's check in with our neighbor, Nasanti. I like to talk, talk to her. Come Nisanti. in! Nasanti. I always want to say Nasanti because I see the TH. But when they say it in the game, they say it more like Nasanti, so I need to try to say it. Right. Look, you've got him all excited. Come in! Are uh, you alright, Rosa? You look a little preoccupied. Well, things are I'm a little strange. Fine. That's Moti knows odd. about it. Moti never acts like that. Well, there's a ghost in the room. Oh, jeez. In case you haven't noticed, some animals can sense me. Are you getting a good look, Mutt? Boo! <gasps> Don't be mean to Moti! What's gotten into you, Moti? I'm sorry, he must be sick or something. No, it's not his it's fault. It's alright. It's alright, Come Moti. on, boy. There's nothing to be afraid of, I hope. <laughs> See ya. Masanti? Yeah, you talked about sensing, so um, let's hear a little more you about that. You said yesterday that you sense things. Yes? Could you tell me more about that? Well, I'm not psychic or anything, if that's what you mean. I'm just observant. Anyone could tell something was wrong if they kept their eyes open. Speaking of which, care to tell me what's wrong? Well, what do you mean? You look ill at ease, uncomfortable. The way your eyes keep moving back and forth. Is everything all right? Say you're fine, kid. I'm fine. Yep, everything's just dandy. Just dandy. And could you stop looking at me? I mean, I know it's hard. I see. Well, I'm here if you need me. I kind of. I almost wish there were an option to confide in her, because she seems really nice. But, you know, when you think about it, it might be, well, it turns out I'm a medium, and there's this ghost following me, and we're gonna go solve some murders and stuff, or... I'm assuming murders, I'm thinking, because it's two dead girls from the same photo. Seems like murders. Um, but, yeah, realistically, we can't imagine that she would take that well, you know. Your neighbor that you just met turns out... <laughs> She's sort of crazy. Um, no, we'll go ahead and go. Well, I'd better go. Take care, Rosa. Come back whenever you'd like. Joe. Shh. You want to start a riot? Keep your yap shut until we're alone. All right, all right. So, dogs can see you, huh? Dogs, cats, birds, any dumb animal. Not that dumb so if they can figure out you're there. I don't know. A gerbil? You kind of look like a gerbil. Thanks, Shut Joey. Up. Joe, shh. Let's not annoy the neighbors, dear. Not unless we have to. We're fine. There's no one else out here. All right. To the elevator, then. All right. Back to the dorm. Come here, you. Hmm? Hi, it's me again. You have more questions, I imagine? Yeah, is that okay? I suppose so. What do you want to know? Well, 
I don't know about these girls. Do you recognize the girls in this photo? Hmm. Well, that's Joanne. They're on the left. And the other two? I definitely recognize them. They were friends of Joanne. Well, what's their they names? They here all the time, but I never spoke to them. But Kelly might have. Right. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my name out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, it's open. After you. Yeah. Ooh, we can actually look around now. I'm not getting into Kelly's bed. She hates me enough already. <laughs> bed in the room. I guess Kelly got rid of the other bed after Joanne left. That seems awfully quick. The window has safety bars on it. I guess that's kind of ironic in a morbid kind of way. Mm. The safety bars on the window prevent me from opening it. It's just a telephone. Can I use your phone? What? That's an odd It'll request. Take a second. Fine, fine. Just hurry up. I don't know who I even want to call. I was just clicking it because I could. Think you're calling? I don't know, Jelly. Mostly I'm just messing around. There's a notebook on Joanne's desk. Not now. I'm on the phone. Sort of. With who? Thanks again, Kelly. Yeah, sure. Alright, this notebook. Can I? No. Joanne and I <laughs> might not have been buddies. But I'll be damned if I'm going to let some stranger paw through her stuff. Ah. Oh, the future Mrs. Davenport, the future mayor of New York City, and the future Miss America. The future Mrs. Davenport? I wonder what that means. Well, Davenport must be her significant other's last name, I'm guessing. I recognize her. That's Joanne. Oh, she aspired to be mayor. Aww. That's her. The ghost in the park. She looks so happy here. I wonder what happened to make her... like that. Nothing good. Alright, well that's a good sign. There's pictures of them here. Kelly's gotta know who they are. And I will get to you, Kelly, but first I wanna check She's out everything in your room. With rock posters. I'm not taking Kelly's things. A good idea. All right, Kelly. That's Kelly. She gives me the creeps. <laughs> Could I ask you some follow-up questions, Kelly? Fine. Make it quick. Mm. Uh, I don't know if it'll work. She's awfully prickly, but we'll try and tell her things. Thanks again for lending me that photograph. No big deal. It was just sitting there on her desk. Uh, okay, yeah, we'll ask her how she's doing. How are you holding up? I'm fine. Midterms are a bitch, but I'm handling it. Or I would be handling it if you didn't keep bugging me. Alright, alright, alright. Um, can I take a look around? What for? Just to see if I can find anything else about Joanne. What, you're a detective now? A little bit. No, forget it. Could you tell me about the other two girls in the photo? Oh, them. What about them? them? Only through Joanne? Do you know their names? The blonde girl is Allie, I think. And the Asian girl? She's Susan. Tried to avoid them when they were here. Why? Really? Why? Look, I need my space. Joanne needed her friends around her. So whenever Joanne turned this place into Social Central, I had to split. They didn't care for me, and I didn't much care for them. Honestly, Kelly, it sounds like you didn't really want to try to care for them, but I guess you're not obligated. Uh, what do you know about Davenport? Do you know anyone named Davenport? No, but it's a stupid name. <laughs> it's written right over really? here on Joanne's bulletin board. You think I care what she does? I mean, what she did? I mean, I don't know anyone with that name. Sorry. What makes it a stupid name? She's so hostile. Do you know anything about Joanne's friend Allie? You mean Miss Blondie? Yeah. Yeah. I know enough, which isn't much. She was over here all the time visiting Joanne. She was kind of sweet, I guess. Laughed all the time. Ugh, oh, that was annoying. That was usually my cue to get out of here. What do you want to know about her? I'm having difficulty finding her. Would you know where she is? I don't know. She could be anywhere. Studying? Partying? Pushing up daisies. Shh. Huh? <laughs> right? 
All right, what about Susan? I don't suppose you'd know anything about Susan. Not much. Quiet, I guess. Maybe she just didn't talk around me. I never stuck around long enough to get to know her. All right. Well, you've not been especially helpful, but somewhat. And we got some names, at least. Something. Hmm. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Why do you want to know? Okay, just same as before. Just for the paper. I don't think so. Suit yourself. That's not Thanks for that. helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. I guess we'll ask one more time. Please let me look around. It would really help me out. I've helped you out enough. You can ask your stupid questions, but you touch nothing. All right. Well, thanks, thanks again, anyhow. Kelly. Whatever. I guess we got something at least. Can I? Come on. No. Joanne and I might not have been All the right. only day. <sighs> I want to get in that notebook. Can we try the telephone again? Is there a way to to trick her? All right. So Susan and Davenport. The name Mrs. Davenport was written under a picture of Susan. So Davenport's something to follow. Maybe if we go ask um, Adrian about Davenport, I'll know who that is. Let's try it. Uh, how do we get out of here? Or does that mean I've not figured out what I need to do in here yet if I can't move on? Oh, exit. There we go. Thank God that's over. Over? What do you mean? We got what we came for, didn't we? No. What exactly do we know? Well... Exactly. Uh -huh. That'll get us far. We gotta get back in there and search for more clues. We do. First, though. Let's see if we can get anything out of this fella. Hmm? Hi, it's me again. I love that smile. That questions, cracks me up. I imagine? Yeah, is that okay? I suppose so. What do you want to know? I want to know about... Well, he's probably not going to know Allie and Susan, but Davenport you know might. We'll check anyhow. I'm afraid not. Who is Allie? She's... Never mind. It's not important. All right. Yeah, he's not going to know Susan either. Did you ever meet Joanne's friend Susan? The name doesn't ring a bell, I'm afraid. All right, but what about Davenport? Thanks, anyway. Davenport? No. Nobody named Ugh. Davenport on this floor. Thanks, anyway. Well, not on this floor, but, like, in general. You don't happen to know any Davenports? Well, he was much less useful than oh, I'd hoped. that's all for now. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joe! Shh! Shall we go someplace where you don't look like a crazy homeless person? There's no one out here right now, Joey. It'd be fine. There's nobody home. Okay. Is there anything on the bulletin board? Well, it's important to do with a Davenport, perhaps. I'm not stealing stuff from college kids. Don't steal, just look. Just a bunch of notices. No. Nope. Guitar lessons, study groups, stuff like that. Ew, there's gum stuck to the faucet. <laughs> I'm not touching Okay, that. I think there must be something that I am missing in Callie's room. Yeah, open. After you. Yeah. Hi, Callie. We're back. Uh, I don't know. Can this I one. use your phone again? Again? It'll only take a second. Fine. Yeah. Whatever. Just hurry up. It is a strange request. Just randomly use this person's phone. But... Hello. Could I speak to Joey, please? Oh. Hi, Joey. Um. <laughs> yes, I had some questions for you. Ah. Yeah! <laughs> not bad, kid, not bad. If you got something to say, say it quick. Lady Pincushion here is starting to look a little hot under the collar. So... Joey, can you do something about that little bird who is watching me? Huh? You mean Metal Nose? Yes, she's making me nervous. Me? What can I do? Hmm, apparently nothing. Um, yes, well... Yes, hello. Could you tell me what I'm supposed to do now, please? Do? Look around, check for clues. We need all the information we can get our hands on. Yeah, I know, we need that notebook. Joey, I'm not sure I can do what you ask me to do. This is stupid. <laughs> you have to. Don't back out now. Thank you, Joey. 
I'll talk to you later. Yeah, sure. Thanks again, Kelly. Yeah, sure. All right, well, we gained absolutely nothing from that. Can I? No. Joanne and I, but mm. I'll be dead. It's just a telephone. There's a notebook on Joanne's desk. Okay, maybe we need to talk to her some more. We gotta convince her. Could I ask you some follow-up questions, Kelly? <sighs> Fine. Make it quick. Please pretty, pretty, please. Around. It would really help me out. I've helped you out enough. You can ask us to. Hmm. Okay. What else can we ask her about? So, what was Joanne really like? To be honest, there's nothing to say. Ah, uh, this is all the stuff we already had. Science. She was so vanilla. You know, just to, to she seemed proud of. Did Joanne act? Well, no. Although the last few, what did she uh, say? No idea. Couldn't... She swore up and down. She looked a bit scared. Scared? How so? Just scared. I didn't need the drama. So, so you weren't killed herself? No. N not that. Are we done? Yeah, we're done for now. I think. <sighs> Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. I'm not really sure what else to do here, so I th Thanks think I'm gonna Kelly. step out. Whatever. Did you see the metal on that girl's yap? How does she brush her teeth? Same way as everybody else, I guess. Yeah. Wouldn't it rust? Ugh. Imagine kissing a girl with rust breath. What era are you from, Joey? I have a feeling you're from a while ago, if you've been following my family forever. For generations. Yeah, he said when he was from. What did he say? 20s or something? Anyhow. Times have changed. That's not the end of the world if she's got piercings that you're not used to. Um, oh, wait. Um, no. But it would get her out of the room. Looks like a fire alarm. Alright. Well, I guess let's try the park again. Please note, Dog Walking Park is closed until further notice. Hmm. Well, go in and try and talk to our ghost. You can't get in there? Well, that's not gonna work. No, I think there's something with Kelly I'm missing. But I'm not sure what, and I don't want to go back there just yet, so let's see what's going on in the hospital. Man, I hate this place! I was stuck here for 25 years! Why'd you have to drag me back here, huh? Eh. Well, what can you tell me about things Locked. here? Whatever's back there, I can't get to it. The sign says I'm not allowed back there. Looks like a fuse box. Judging by the flickering lights, it must be broken. I don't have anyone to call. Call Joey again. Alright, I'll talk to the doctor. I didn't really like him that much, but... I'm here to see Dr. Quentin. Sure thing, you're cleared. Go right in. Thank you. Come in. Dr. Quentin? Oh, hello. Come in, come in. Well, mm, we'll see what he can say about Did Joey. Did my aunt and grandmother ever say anything specific about Joey? No. Why? Have you learned anything? Oh, no, I... I was just wondering. Oh, real subtle. Take it easy, Joey. Uh, no, I am not going to confide in this doctor. I don't... I don't know, I don't get a good feeling from him. He's more... I don't know that he's a bad guy, but he's just not... He's not interested, I don't feel, in helping Rosa as a person. Like, it's not that he wants to help Rosa and wants her to be able to... He's just fascinated. It's a professional fascination, because the case is distinctive. And I don't know, I don't really like that. I'd rather find a psychiatrist who cares about Rosa as an individual. Do you know anything about headaches? It's hardly my specialty, but I know enough. Why? I've been getting them. Lots of them. 
In your case, I'd say they were triggered by stress. Are they usually this bad? It varies. Over-the-counter pain medication, rest, that's all I'd suggest. Thanks. Or maybe go see a doctor who actually, you know, studies it. I don't... I really don't want to tell him. But I'm, I'm afraid that I'm going to have to, to advance the narrative. Well, let's try it and let's see if Joey interrupts. Dr. Quentin, I've got something to tell you. Hmm? Yes? It's about Joey. Oh? Oh, no. Don't you dare. Yeah. Darling, you seem like a sweet kid. Don't ruin everything this early in the game. I, um... Hey! Whatever you think you're doing, stop right now. You say one word to this quack about me and the jig is up. He... Are you listening? He does I have a point. I just spent 25 years in this dump. I'm not gassed up to do it again, you dig? You want to be locked up in a padded cell with me for company? Not really. That's what'll happen. Eh, he's and probably I'll right. And I make sure your life is a living hell. Okay. Um, that's... Think about it. Yes, Miss Blackwell? Never mind. Good girl. Keep your yap shut and we'll get on just fine. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Suddenly he's rather ominous. I mean, before it seemed like he's not necessarily a bad guy. He's just in a, inexplicably stuck with my family. I'm stuck with him, so whatever. Maybe we can work together and solve it. But that, if I happen to get committed, he's going to make my life hell. Like, oh, that's what he did to my aunt, isn't it? That's really disturbing. I guess I'll head out. Very well. Goodbye, Miss Blackwell. He didn't seem like such a bad ghost. Just kind of a smart alecky guy, but maybe oh, I don't know. That's oh, that's kind of shook me up a little bit. Okay, there's got to be something I'm missing here in the dorm. Well, let's let's go home and look up Davenport on our computer. Maybe we'll find something. Davenport is too common a name. Mm. I need a first name at least. All right. Mm. She's not gonna find Allie. Without a last either. name, the word Allie is pretty useless. It's too common a name. Can't you look it up in conjunction with the college? Without a last name, the word Susan is <sighs> No, I can't- Okay, this isn't- So this isn't where we need to be. This isn't accomplishing anything. Psst, Joey! Let's see if he has any thoughts. What do you want, sweetheart? Yeah. Oh no, this notebook. For some I'm thinking back to the notebook in Kelly's room. No, um I wonder if the name Davenport has any significance. It could. You never know. So the ghost's name is Allie. Looks like it. And she's trapped in the dog run at Washington Square Park. That's where she is. And we have to save her. Yep. Is this going to be a typical day from now on? You'll look <laughs> back on this as one of the normal ones. Now this is a start at least though. We have her name, so we can try and catch her attention with that. I don't suppose you know anything about Susan. Nope, no more than you. Why would Joanne commit suicide? Who knows? Maybe she was in a hurry. That's not funny. You want a different answer, ask a different ghost. <sighs> I don't suppose you'd know anything about Joanne, would you? No. Nope, no more than you. Judging by the picture, she knows that sob story in the park, but that's all. I think I've heard enough. Yeah, let's get going. No, actually, I, I still wanted to talk to you. Get back here. I want to talk to you, Joey. Yeah? Uh, let's ask about ghosts. No, we did all this before. Yeah, I think we're done. I think I've heard enough. Yeah, let's get going. All right, all right. You coming? Yeah, sure.
back to the dorm. All right, anything else from this fella? Hmm? Yeah, it's, Hi, me, it's again. me again. Always you being a pest. Yeah. I suppose so. What do you want to know? Anything else about Kelly? Can you tell me anything else about Kelly? I don't feel it's my place to say anything else. If you want to know more, you'll have to ask her. <sighs> Nothing from this guy. Okay, well, let's... that's all for now. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my name out of it. Allie is dead, just like Joanne. Is there more to this than a simple case of teen suicide? I'm thinking so. Allie was one of Joanne's friends. And just like Joanne, Allie is dead. What about Susan? Susan was one of Joanne's friends. Judging from the photo Kelly gave me, Susan and Allie were close friends. Oop. The name Mrs. Davenport was written under a picture of Susan. Yeah, we got that already. Um... I get the impression that Kelly didn't care much for Allie. Or Susan. I get the impression that Kelly didn't care much for Susan. Or Joanne. Joanne and Kelly were roommates at NYU. That's all I really know about them. Could Kelly have had something to do with Joanne killing herself? Mm. I'm not really thinking so at this point. I don't see what one has to do with the other. Yeah, me either. I'm just grasping at straws here. Well, the sign the says Shelley Shinoy and Sarah Elmale. The sign reads Amanda Fay and Karen Schreier. Well, no, they won't be on this floor, because Adrian already said he didn't know Ellie or Suzanne. Alright, sorry, Kelly, I gotta bug you again. It's open! After you. Yeah? <sighs> Kelly, I really need to see this notebook. Can't we just cooperate? She's covered cooperate? her wall rock posters. It's the only bed in the room. I guess Kelly got rid of the other bed after Joanne left. The window has safety bars on it. I guess that's kind of ironic in a morbid kind of way. What am I missing here? It's just a tele. Can I use your phone again? Again? Again. It'll only yeah. take a second. Fine. All right, Joey. I need you to be a little more useful for me. I'm not getting into Kelly's bed. She hates me enough already. Thanks again, Kelly. Yeah, sure. Ugh, what do I need to do here? Well, I really don't know what... I tried asking her absolutely everything, Thanks and we're not getting out. anywhere. Yeah, sure, whatever. Thanks again, Kelly. Whatever. What am I missing? Let's... Oh yeah, way to turn over every stone looking for clues. What do you want from me? Yeah. I'm doing the best I can. Well, try a bit harder. Why don't you try to help? Alright. It's open! After you. If I do this enough times, is he gonna break down and give me an idea yeah. how to get this notebook? Can I? No. Nope. Oh my gosh, I just There's wanted to no know, but... Desk. This is really, really hard. You think you've got it bad? I've got to watch. It's pretty painful, let me tell you. You're not helping. Yeah, give me some advice. You want help? Get your little butt back in there. And do what? One more time. It's open. After you. Yeah. Alright. I combined all of these, though. Hadrian didn't know about that. Maybe report. there's a connection, but I can't see it. 
Kelly didn't like Allie or Susan. She doesn't know who Davenport is. Look at the bulletin board again. I'm not lugging that thing around. Well, let's look at it again. That's her. The ghost in the park. Yeah? She looks so happy here. I wonder what happened to make her like that. That's her. She look I wonder that's her. Okay, she so left wonder. and right click are doing the same I thing. I recognize there. her. That's Joanne. The future Mrs. Davin. I wonder what that the future Miss I Nothing. The window has safety bars on. Mm, we can't open it. She's got posters. We don't want to take them. We're not going to sit on her bed. Could I ask you some follow up? <sighs> Make it. Please let me look around. If I badger you enough, will really you just do it? Out. I've helped you out enough. No. Thanks again. Whatever. Go ahead, harangue me some more. He doesn't even have anything to say this time. He's so disappointed. Well. I don't see how it will help, but I'm going to go talk to Nishanti, because I like her. Looks like a fire alarm. Um, no. Come on. The sign reads Sarah Kaplan and Julie Gilbert. The sign says, Sandy Chen and Sonata Munye. Alright, let's look at all the signs in case it's significant. The sign reads, Amanda Fay and Karen Schreier. The sign says, Shelley Shinoy. Mm -hmm. Come in! Nishanti, I'm having a tough time. I'd like to chat with you and Moti. Be nice, Moti. She's our neighbor. Come in! <laughs> Moti, be nice! Just one moment. <clears throat> boogity, boogity, boogity! Oh, he's such a jerk. I'm at a loss. He never acts like this. Never. It's all right. Don't worry about it. Come here, Moji. Here, it's boy. okay. At least I'll still come to Rosa. There's nothing to be afraid of, I hope. See ya. Oh, can I feed Could him I again? Give Modi another treat? Sure. Here, take another. I have plenty. Well, I'd better go. Take care, Rosa. Come back whenever you'd like. Hey, boy. There you go. Go get it. Ignore the scary ghost. See ya. All right, but this is the last one. This dog go is so it. spoiled. See the look on that dumb mutt's face? Quit pestering I the dog. He was gonna wet himself. <laughs> Alright, so it turns out I'm a fool. When I was here before, I right clicked it. And she says about, oh, the dog park is closed, so I just assumed I couldn't Please go in. Note. Dog walk. Hmm. But if I left click. Please note. Hmm. Oh. I click, click click the sign. Don't click the sign. Hit the entrance. I don't want to, but I guess we should talk to the ghost again. Don't worry. I'll do the talking. Let's do it. Hey there. Remember me? 
No. no. Maybe. Let's go easy on her. Can you tell me the last thing you remember? Candy. I was eating candy. Candy? Candy to make the deacon go away. Ah, I think I understand. Did it work? I don't hear him anymore, but he did something to me. He'll go away. Okay. Well, let's start with trying to jog her memory. Is your name Allie? Yes, that's me. Ali Montego, a oh. story and a song. She kisses the boys, but not for long. Cute. Well, Ali Montego, at least we've confirmed who you are. Well, that's a start. Uh, what about Susan? Can you tell me about your friend Susan? Quiet Sue. Little Lady Lee. Always neat and always fair. Won't say much, but you'll know she's there. Lady... Susan Lee? Lee? She had to go away. Stupid deacon. Sending away all my friends. Even the little, little ones. What's, what's this deacon she keeps talking about? Can you tell me who the deacon is? The deacon is the deacon. We called him and he came. He got into my head. He's scared. He's diseased. He's made me diseased too. Now everyone goes away. Well, that just... Leads to a whole bunch more questions. Wasn't particularly helpful, but, um, thanks. Can you tell me anything about yourself, Allie? Allie Montego, a story of... She kisses... Okay, we already heard that. Uh, Davenport. Do you know anyone named Davenport? No. Maybe. What about Kelly? Do you know Kelly? Kelly, Kelly, crazy Kelly, made of ice jelly. We all drove her away. But that was okay. It wasn't the deacon's fault. It was hers. All right. How about Adrian? Do you know him? Adrian the man. The man with the plan. What plan? Do you know why Joanne killed herself? Joanne? She can't be dead. She's going to change the world. She's not dead. Even though she had to go away. They all had to go away because of the deacon. Well, we freaked her out quite a bit now. Are you friends with a girl named Joanne? 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 Beware of Joanne when her plans unfurled, for she intends to take over the world. She had to go away. He drove her away. She didn't understand. Well, we've asked her about everything. We've got some names. Just sit tight. We'll figure this out. And we'll be back. That place is creepy. What? You don't like dogs? You know what I mean. Okay, yeah, this is... There's things we can probably look up. Uh, let's head back to our house. We've got names, so we'll check our computer for them. I don't think it will help to go back to the dorm at this point, because even though we have the last names, they're just gonna be like, Susan Lee, it doesn't mean anything to me. So... Let's look up Allie. Allie Montego. Let's see if I can find her. Hmm. She apparently spent some time on a spiritual internet forum. She was looking for information about Ouija boards? Are Ouija boards dangerous? She asked. Can they call anything evil? And if so, how do you get rid of it? Oh, jeez. Oh, Another bunch of hacks messing with those stupid boards. This has happened before? A few times. Those things are nothing but trouble. There are so many sites about this, and they all contradict each other. There's no way to really tell fact from fiction. Well, let's look up Susan at any rate. Lee is a pretty common name, but it should narrow things down. I think I got her. Susan Lee, 18 years old, was admitted to Bellevue Hospital oh. last week after an apparent suicide attempt. I think that's our girl. Yeah, we're gonna need to talk to her. Uh, I don't think we'll find anything about the deacon. That's too common a word. Yeah. Whoever the deacon is, I don't think I'll find him this way. Well. I mean, that's pretty good right there. We got some things to go on. Alright, I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and wind the episode down here.
please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come back next time. We'll head over to Bellevue. We'll see if we can talk to Susan and get things rolling here. Crack this case.